This is what sucks about sharp hooks. Bloody good, but they get stuck everywhere. First fish of the morning, only a mid 30s, so hoping there's a few bigger ones out there. Through, I've got a CID shiver stick, the 125 mil at the moment. I might cast this for a few more and then I might, um, might put an ice cream on, just get a bit more distance. cast plenty far enough but days like this I want to sort of try and get out far beyond those waves as possible because the tide's quite high. That first fish as usual I always miss it on film but that was probably second cast so not a bad result really just want a bigger fish. That was a better cast. Yeah, I brought my nine foot rod with me this morning just just because it's not easterly, so it can be a bit hard with that eight foot rod trying to get distance. And it can be the difference between getting fish and not getting anything at all. I do have my little, I have my eight foot rod in the car, but I think this is the perfect rod for today. Plus it is, it is a really nice rod to use, so Assassin Spin Tech 9 foot heavy. Cast up to 42 grams, so, and it's really light. Got 4,000 Solstice MQ on there, Diver Solstice. P1.5 Dangan Braid. Perfect setup. Real whitewashy this morning, which could be it's a good thing. That first fish I caught wouldn't stay still, and he spat out all these little baby blowfish. Strange. They eat a fair, they eat all sorts of stuff, but I didn't think blowfish was one of them. The reason I started with the shiver stick, um, I just want to have a look, test the water sort of thing. I always like starting with a lure that stays in the water a bit better. But I might chuck the gold GT ice cream on. Just because I've only got one of these 125mm shiver sticks. The colour isn't ideal for these conditions in my eyes. Might just be a bit harder to see. So I have a few more casts of this. I've already got one on it, so let's see if I can get a few more. I just want a bigger fish. And I know this spot holds some big ones, but I struggle to find them. Last year I got a few big ones here as well. Um, it's still a bit early for this spot I think. November usually, December. It's really good. 
little bit of weight in the water. This spot, some of the best sessions I've had at this spot have just been crystal clear water, dead still. Closer than that reef, that's where I got the first one. Just make sure that lure doesn't sink too much, don't want to lose it. The tide's starting to really go back out now. I think it's the outgoing tide as well, so. I might put an ice cream on for a bit. See what happens. While I've got the camera on, I'll just show you what that tailor spat out in the pool. There was another one here, but I think the seagulls have taken it and left the blowfish. Yeah, it's a tiny, I'm trying to get the sand off it. Tiny little blowfish. Yeah, he was shaking his head and all that wall, like about three, three bits of God knows what come out of his mouth. That was one of them. The other two are gone now, so I wonder if the seagulls nicked off, nicked off with them. But yeah, I wouldn't think blowfish would be on their uh, diet, but obviously are. Yeah, I think um, I've got the smaller shiver stick. I need to get a few more of them actually, because I've only got. The 125 mil in this one. I think it might be a bit windy for this because it's a bit lighter, lighter lure. I think I'll go something like that. Easier to see in the overcast conditions. See if it works. You don't know if it works until you try it. No harm in trying things. Either gonna work or it's not. Haven't been beach fishing in a few weeks actually. It's good to get back on the sand. The fishing I've done at the marge got back from Calbarry, so a lot of the fishing I did up there, we camped on the river, so did a lot of river fishing. Caught my first decent brim. But it is good to have sand between the toes again. I know a lot of people will probably wonder why I didn't do much beach fishing in Calvary, but I had the kids with me and uh, we weren't staying in Calvary, we were staying just out of Calvary, so it's just easier to fish on the river. First cast of the GTI screen, let's see what happens. Right out the back. Plenty of boats out today as well, considering the conditions. Love the action of these lures, especially when you get a strike on them. They cause a lot of commotion on the top, depending on how you retrieve them. I like mine, I'm sort of more of a faster retrieve. You can twitch them and stuff like that, but I just straight line, more of a faster retrieve. It's very effortless to cast these lures. Like you give it a good little flick and they just go. I have noticed about this spot as well, like sometimes you'll catch one and you'll get nothing for about 20 casts and then all of a sudden you just get another one. So I think it's sort of a spot they are uh, swim around rather than hold. Plenty of seaweed around as well. 
but not in this exact spot, but sort of either side of me. Sort of got a reef over here, and it sort of cancelled out the seaweed, so it stopped it sort of coming any further this way, which is good. Literally throwing that over that reef now. Good thing about these lures, they're so versatile. I've lost probably one. Other than that, you don't lose them. I put a uh, single on the back, two split rings, BKK split ring, something strong, and you rarely ever lose them. And I find this is a perfect rod to, to lay. It's got a little bit of whip in the end, but not too much. You don't want too much with the plugs. My, my opinion anyway. Big baits are a, are a different story. My preference for them is you, you want a fair bit of whipping the rod to work them because you're doing a lot more different retrieves with the stick bait Yeah, I'll show you while I got it out of the water. Try not to trip over because this sand's soft. Um, yeah, so you got two split rings, and I think it's a 2 0 BKK Diablo single. They come with a good hook, but the way um, it has sort of this cord on the back of it, and they have been snipped off before. Taylor just snipped straight through it after a while. I think the reason they make them like that is I think in South Africa where they're made that's what works for them over there so and they're not so much made for um, the tailor as well they catch all sorts of stuff on them over there so that swinging hook at the back is probably a lot more versatile for them so I'm sort of just adapting the lure to what I'm using it for I plan to get this wet this morning, but always the case. I don't know if you can see in the video, but you can see I'm sort of doing, I'm not casting in the same spot over and over again. I'm sort of doing like a semi-circle, just so you cover a bit of ground. I think I've said that four and a few videos but there's no point just peppering the same spot you might as well make the most of the ground you've got in front of you and just be cautious of the lures you use obviously like this spot no it's hard to see on the camera but it's a lot of reef i wouldn't even dream of using a metal twisty here because it'll just come become unenjoyable you just keep losing stuff but it's just all about um, what you use where you use it what I do usually do if it's a spot I'm unsure of is 
take a sling bag I've got up there, my dial one, and um, I'll walk, especially if it's a new spot. It's how you find spots. Just you just walk. Pack light and walk. But because I know this spot produces that's why I'm sort of just taking my bag off and just casting within like a 50 meter stretch. No fish as of yet. I'm gonna turn the camera off to uh, save battery, but every time I do, I hook up. Might be the key, actually. As I said, I turn the camera off and bang. This one feels a bit better. <sighs> yeah, definitely a better fish than the first one. That line's tight. No jumps yet. Plenty of head shakes though. Come on. Wait for a wave. Yeah, he's decent. Definitely bigger than the other one. Yeah, I'd say mid 40s. Give him a wash. Get a photo. Hopefully, without a hook in my hand. Strong fish. Good thing about one single on the back, you don't have to worry about hooks getting flicked into your hand. My wife get a photo and get him back. Right, well that was a painful experience. Got a good photo though, so. Ah, uh, yeah, 48. Good fish. I want bigger though, but it's definitely good fun. Yeah, I don't know, with all the sand, but see his mouth. No damage done whatsoever with that single hook. That's why I like singles. Some lures I just got. Oh. Help me guys. Some lures I just can't put singles on because it changes the way they swim and I just wash back up. Yeah, it changes the way they swim and um, yeah, they just come ineffective. Help me guys. Oh. Bit of excitement. As soon as I turn that camera off, bang. I think it was second cast after I turned the camera off. So, just untangle this. Always check your tips before you bloody cast, that's how you lose the lure. Um, yeah, so changing the lure makes a difference. So there's proof that they're, um, they're out there. They can just be fussy sometimes as well, like any fish. Bloody fish. Luckily it didn't have 
another hook on it because he multiple times he threw his head even though i had hold of him and smashed the ice cream into my hand a few times it's bloody it hurts enough whinging and have another cast all right guys that's it for me today um just a quick overview of um the session two fish landed um, the first one only little on a CID 125 mil shiver stick and the second on a GT ice cream, the 1.5 Oz gold GT ice cream. Um, he was 52, got a measure on him, so definitely a better fish. Got a few photos that you'll see online as well, so check them out. And um, Alright, well I'm going to go home. I hate the stuff to do today, so I thought I'd sniff out for a few hours and see if there's a few Taylor about, which turned out there is. It wasn't a huge session. Um, like I said, two fish is better than nothing, but yeah, it's not a red hot session, but definitely good fun by any means. Anyway, guys, um, see you on the next one. Cheers.